He used a disaster in this city and in, in a large part of this province as a cheap political stunt. God damn is what I said after watching this video. So this is Sid Sixero, a morning co-host on Breakfast Television on City News in Toronto, talking about Ontario Premier Doug Ford, who yesterday during a crazy snowstorm here in Ontario went out on a PR stunt to shovel some snow. Now, this is incredibly rare. Understand how rare it is to see a Canadian broadcaster actually have a an opinion <laughs> on politics and not hold back. I honestly can't think of another time where I've seen something like this. I mean, you have conservative radio hosts, you know, sometimes go off on their AM radio shows. But in terms of an actual legitimate, real critique of a politician, this is... I mean, unmatched. So check this out. I'm going to play the full thing here. It's I can't cut this down. So it's about four minutes long, but it is fantastic. So Doug Ford went out in Snowmacron yesterday and um, not the biggest shovel I've ever seen. No, no but it's not the biggest. I have, to, I have to say, listen, first off, anyone who helped anyone yesterday, and there were a lot of people that needed help, it was a great thing. Heroes. Legit. It was a great thing. Legit, because nobody um, wants to be out in the, there longer than they have to be. So that's truly really caring think, for your neighbor. Yes. I believe my niece had a similar sized um, uh, shovel yesterday From when she beach. went outside. Okay. Um, no, but but listen, credit to the premier for helping a few yeah. people out. I don't mind that at all because I couldn't. I'm quarantining here. I can do a damn thing. Yeah. You can't. Um, here's my issue. Yesterday, and I'm going to say this loudly for the people in the back that might have missed it because there was a lot going on yesterday. Poll numbers for Doug Ford's approval across the province came out. He's at his lowest compared to any other time he's been premier. 30% of people in the province of Ontario, according to Angus Reid, approve of the job he's doing. So on that day, yesterday, a disaster in the city of Toronto and in various parts around it, Doug Ford went out in a car and called a TV station live and FaceTimed while driving in a snowstorm. That's not only dangerous, but I find it ironic considering for months he would avoid questions from the media because he wasn't tech savvy enough and couldn't go on Zoom. I found that to be rich. Then there's videos circulating all over social media yesterday of complete strangers with no mask getting in the premier's car. Did they need help? Yes, they did. No one's wearing a mask. It's like the amazing race people jumping in and out of his car. And those videos are circulating like crazy. And on top of it, considering that he, he th this premier has gone MIA for months during the darkest points of this pandemic, the second he called every media outlet for attention on this, we followed him like lemmings. And it was disgusting. He used a disaster in this city and in, in a large part of this province as a cheap political stunt. The day numbers came out, which showed he's barely more popular than Kathleen Wynne. And she was hated by the time she left office. I'm offended that he used that for a political stunt. I'm offended that colleagues of mine in this business didn't have enough sense and followed him along for the ride when he barely wants to talk to any of us in the media and then wants attention that day. And I really hope people paid attention to that. I was born, but not yesterday. I know exactly what that was on a day where people needed legit help and he used it as a photo op. And I hope people saw that for what it was. People sitting in their car, you want to really help? There's about three dozen tractor trailers on the 401 Premier. You want to take that shovel built for a child? You go down there and help out. I thought you were going to say something else would take that shovel. And you, hey -oh! I'm going to tell you this, Sid. Hashtag Canadian Media Failed was also trending yesterday because they were shaming all of us for not saying what you just did. So what the you're joke. saying is you want to help your neighbor like many, many, many people did yesterday altruistically because you care? Good on you. You want to turn it into a PR stunt and not say, um, perhaps I was overzealous and I did break a few rules and I was distracted driving myself. I shouldn't have done that. Own up to all that. And maybe there's that path to forgiveness then. But just the shutout of it all. And let's just carry on and only praise when anybody else would have been in big trouble, fined, et cetera, et cetera, in a pandemic, no less. Like you said, sitting in a car cheek to cheek. 
sending out an IG reel. Maybe we all got to check ourselves a little bit. And yes, send your love to Ed Sixero, if I could say your name. I have never in my entire life seen a Canadian broadcaster go that hard. That was incredible. Credit there to both Sid and to Dina for calling this out, calling out the media, calling out Doug Ford. Uh, I have never seen this, and I hope to see more of this. This is how you actually cover politicians. A fantastic job here. Now, I can't really add much to what he said, I mean, apart from uh, the, or the in terms of what he covered there. But let me just fill in a little more in terms of what Doug Ford has not done during this pandemic and why people right now are struggling. So a couple examples here. So Ontario nurses right now are renewing a call to repeal Doug Ford's Bill 124. This bill caps public sector nurse salary increases to 1%, a move that the Registered Nurses Association of Ontario said is wreaking havoc on the nursing profession. So right now, there is a serious issue with a lack of nurses in Ontario. And a big reason for that is the limit on their pay. So we are treating them as these people are as we should be in terms of their importance during this entire pandemic, treating them as these heroes, yet you're capping their pay. So this is one part, one major part of the issue in Duck Ford's uh, response here, or lack thereof. Another one, paid sick days, or lack thereof. So, of course, polls show Ontario, Ontarians overwhelmingly support a call for 10 permanent paid sick days. But despite that, the Ford government voted against it in November, and in fact, they have voted against it 25 times, over 25 times. Under immense pressure from health experts and the public, they brought in three temporary paid sick days. Health experts and worker advocates have been clear that extending temporary programs is not sufficient. Quote, workers had previously won two permanent paid sick days in Ontario, which this government rolled back when they took office in 2018, said Dina Ladd, executive director of the Workers Action Center. Quote, low-wage workers were sent into precarious and unsafe working conditions during the pandemic with little to no protection. So there were paid sick days. Doug Ford came in, took them away. They're, they're now a temporary, some temporary paid sick days during this pandemic. But the push for 10 paid sick days voted against by this government again and again and again and again. And in addition to that, some other uh, details here. Pre-pandemic, his popularity at its peak, basking in his honeymoon, Ford wiped out Wynn's other social reforms, including a $15 an hour minimum wage, free pharmacare for young and old adults, a basic income pilot, and a ban on doctor's notes. Quote, keep fighting with me. You know that I'm here to fight for the little guy, Ford said in late 2018 as he set his sights on sick pay. So not only did he take away paid sick days, he also voted against or took away these uh, protections for workers as well. This is what Ford has done his entire career, including as premier. Pretends to fight for the little guy, you know, the working class, in reality works with the business community to destroy the working class. So it is so rare to see this actually, to see a criticism of Doug Ford in the press, a legitimate criticism of him in this actual you know forceful way with some emotion someone here actually caring about what is going on actually recognizing the bullshit that Doug Ford puts out there it is so rare to see this and so refreshing to see this that I also got to mention here <laughs> Sid Sixero Portuguese I'm half Portuguese so I feel even better <laughs> that it's Sid out here doing this as a as a, a man representing us Portuguese people. But um, it's so fantastic. And I hope to see the media be more willing to do this because this has gotten a lot of positive reaction. I imagine maybe the press is kind of shocked to see that people actually love to hear, you know, the truth. So maybe, hopefully, we get to see more of this.